Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant and this video is a request. It has been requested a couple of times. What happens when you pair up this lens right here, the 35-100 f2.8, and this camera right here, the Panasonic GX9? Well, I can tell you now, you get awesomeness. Let's roll that intro, let's get straight into it. Yeah, no. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, this camera and this lens. I have actually been requested to make this video by a few people. This camera and lens combo is dynamite. I rocked this combo for the longest time. Very versatile, great in all sorts of scenarios, producing fantastic results. Now, usually these days, I must admit, I am rocking one lens on the Panasonic GX9, and that's the 15mm f1.7 Panasonic Leica Prime lens. This lens is brilliant. I think it's pretty much designed for the Panasonic GX9. What a combo. Anyway, I pretty much just use that lens now. The GX9 has become mainly my street photography camera. But for the longest time, and I still do, let me just say, especially when I travel, especially when there's a family event on and things like that, I rock the Panasonic GX9 and the Lumix 35 to 100 f2.8. What a great combo. It's super versatile. It's balanced quite well too, I must say. For a little camera, this lens balances on the GX9 really well. Especially if you've got the JJC extension grip, you're gonna have no issues. It's better balanced than the 12 to 60 f2.8 to f4. I had to think about that then. Here it is here on my Panasonic G7. This lens balances on this camera great. However, on the Panasonic GX9, not so good. But because this lens is an internal zoom, it balances better. It sort of fits perfectly with this um, camera here, especially with the grip and everything like that. And it's super versatile, as I've mentioned a few times. So 35 to 100, so that's uh, 70 to 200 in full frame land. More of a cropped in sort of feel, zoom lens, that sort of thing but still quite versatile. You might have to move your feet a little bit more if you want to get close in and get some wider shots, but for zooming in and cutting in and making slices all the way at 100, absolutely brilliant. You really can't go wrong as a travel combo. To be honest with you, if you just wanted to take two lenses on a worldwide trip, if you took the Panasonic GX9, the 35 to 100, and a fast little prime lens, like the 15mm f1.7, you're pretty much gonna cover absolutely everything. And it's not even a fact of, you know, if you go out for the day, you go sightseeing and stuff like that. Oh, should I take this lens or should I take this lens? With the size of this lens here, you chuck it in your jacket pocket and you're right to go. Anything wide, this lens is gonna take care of. You can even go the 20mm um, f1.7 as well. That's a great lens. It's currently on my uh, Olympus Pen F. But you know, a great combo, a great travel combo. This lens with a wider prime, you're laughing. 35 to 100, the uh, 12 to 35 f2.8, that's a great lens as well. If you just had those two lenses, that lens and this lens, you could do anything. But we're not talking about that, we're talking about this lens here. And the results you can get, the rendering, the compression, I absolutely love it. Highly, highly recommend this lens for travel, for portraits, landscape work, sports, events, that sort of stuff. Anything you need a little bit more reach and a little bit more compression, this is the lens to get for your Panasonic GX9.
To be honest with you, I probably recommend this lens over the 12 to 60. I could even potentially, maybe even, um, recommending this lens over its little brother, the 12 to 35. I would probably be more inclined to do what I said before, get this lens first, the 35 to 100, and then just get a fast prime lens. As I said, the 15mm f1.7 is a great idea. Even the cheaper 20mm f1.7, that could be a great idea as well. You're gonna get a wide variety of shots working in all sorts of scenarios with this lens and this camera and a wider prime. Where this little combo really does shine is at events family events, even professional events. If you're happy with shooting on one card, this little combo will be great. It's super discreet. It's almost ninja worthy. You don't even have to hold it up to your eye so it looks like you're taking shots out in front of you like this. Absolutely brilliant for the vertical stuff. This way as well, awesome stuff. Holding it in front of it doesn't even look like you're taking photos. You can really zone in. You can, you can really laser in, create those cool slices and stuff like that. Awesome combo. So yeah, this video has been requested a few times. You know, people love the GX9 and they love this lens. They wanna know, you know, is it a good combo? I'm here to say, yes, it is a fantastic combo. I highly recommend it. The Mark II version of the 35 to 100 is brilliant. That's the only version I've ever used. There's the first version as well, and now there's a Panasonic Leica version as well. I haven't used that one yet, but you know, that seems to be good too. But from my experience, the Mark II version is fantastic. So yeah. If you like this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Big thumbs up for the video and I'll see you all next time.